it's Linda here and today I thought I'd pop in with this little project for you. So this little box has got a faceted bottom of sorts. Um, it's a little design that I came up with a couple of years ago. Um, just haven't bothered to um, get my finger out and share it really. Um, I did share it once and it did get a lot of nice comments but I just didn't get round to doing a video. It's quite a complex box in so much as creating the template for it. So it, it's not a dead easy project um, but I'm going to try and put together this tutorial in as comprehensive a way as I can. Um, it's definitely more, I'd say, for the intermediate crafter, I might be wrong. Um, but it's certainly, you've got to concentrate. you definitely got to concentrate on this one. Okay, but it's worth it because you do get this really nice shaped little gift package. Um, ideal if you, if you are giving gifts like body lotion and things like that to people. Okay, so that's the inside. So I've tried to keep it as neat as possible. That's the outside and the back, okay, um, and it goes together in a very specific way um, and you do have to concentrate as to where you are placing your adhesive um, when you're sticking it together. So I'm going to take you through that quite slowly um, and I hope that I make it as uncomplicated as I possibly can. Okay, so I do hope that you're going to enjoy it because I think, you know, once you've made it, you feel like you've achieved something really quite nice because it is a very unusual shape, but it's really attractive, and really nice. Um, I suppose you could downsize it for other projects as well, but um, I'm really dead chuffed with this one. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and thank you very much for joining me today. Okay, so for this project, you need a piece of... Well, I'm using Design Series paper here, which has got a fair, it's quite a fair um, weight, really. But you can use this, or you can use cardstock. This measures 11 inches by 8 and a quarter inches. And so on the long side, you're scoring at 1 and 3 quarter inches. Then you're scoring at 4 and a half. And at six and a half, and at nine and a quarter. Okay, so then turning it around onto the short side. Now, this first score line that you or score that you're going to make is only going is only going to go down to the second score line. All right, so you're only going down as far as here. So there's the first point. Here's the second. All right, so down to this point here, and you're going to score at two inches and at six and a quarter down to that second score line. Okay, and we'll turn it around and do the same on the other side. So at two inches down to your second score line and at six and a quarter down to the second score line. Okay. So now you're going to fold on the second score line here, okay, and you're going to notch at two and three quarter inches there, and then you're going to notch at five and a half inches here, okay, and then you're going to open your card up and then put your nozzle on the, or your um, the nib of your stylus there on that notch that you've made and score down to this next score line so only as far as there okay and that one as far as there I'm going to make another notch now I'm going to notch at one and five eighths here And you're going to notch at six and five eighths here, and again open it out and just score five 
like that there and there I'm sorry I'm going slow but I really have to think about this because it's quite a complex box really so going back now to the long side at three and three quarter inches which is here you're going to score down to this score line here okay so in at three and three quarters and down to this score line and then at seven and a quarter down to that score line okay turn your card round and do exactly the same so three and three quarters down to this line and seven and a quarter to there okay so that should be looking like that now so it's quite a complex series of scoring but then it is a very unusual shaped box okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to just need to grab a ruler and all you're going to do is you're going to score from let me come in now You're going to score from this point here to this point on the diagonal. Okay, so I'm just going to take my stylus, the thin end, and I'm just going to do that there. You've got another one here, so you've got like a half a triangle. I'm going to do exactly the same. Try and be nice and accurate as well. Okay, and you've got another one here. And another one. Okie dokie. So, not sure what you can see. Hopefully you can see those little marks there. Okay, so now we're going to do some careful cutting. Working from this end here, what you're going to do is if you cut down here, I'm having trouble seeing. I'm coming down and I'm cutting to that score line there and the same here with this one like that okay turn it back round and now you're going to score on this section here this narrow section is going to come out so you're cutting down there like that then you're going to cut all the way down to that point there like that and then you're just going to lose this rectangle here like that I'm going to turn this around and repeat that on the other side now so I'm just going to lose this narrow wedge here by cutting down there and all the way down there and then losing it's easier if I do it this way losing this bit here like that okay so that's that part done okay so now what we're going to do is concentrate on this end now on this end we're losing these two end squares okay so we're just Removing this one, and then we're removing this one, like that. And again, we're going to lose this little section here, so we're, again, we're cutting down to there and then all of the way down to that point there I'm just losing this turn it up round okay we'll do the same this side
do them. So your template is now looking like that. Now we've just got one final bit of cutting to do here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you just you we're left with this section here. Okay, so you've got two folds there. Okay, this section here, just going to cut this one in half, right, like that, and the same on the other side. So just taking that section there and losing roughly half of it, like that. And now we can just go around and we can either burnish if you've got if you've got heavier weight card, then you can burnish. I'm literally doing this with mine. I don't want to be over brutal with it. I don't want to spoil this lovely paper. So I'm just literally folding now on all of my score lines. If you're working in card, then you'll be wanting to go around and burnish with a bone folder. Oh, I just noticed I didn't cut that one all the way down. Silly me. Just get that right. And then obviously you've got these little bits here, so you want to fold those this way. Okay, so that's all that done. Now what we're going to do is do some, put some um, adhesive tape down. So I'm going to work with mine this way. So we're going to start off with just some adhesive tape on this piece first. So where you need your tape here is on these little diagonals. So four of those. So that's that and you also need to run some double sided tape along here and along this piece. Okay so that's the that's all the adhesive that you need on that side because this is the side that's going to be showing right so on the inner side Turn it around so now we've got this full section here and you've got a cutaway section that side. So we're working from this side first. So what you're going to do in this section here in the middle is just stick a piece like that. You're also going to run tape along this very edge piece here. And this one. So it's quite specific this, where you do put your tape. Okay, I'm not just doing it for a laugh. There is a method to my madness here. Okay. So you want this on this side of that score line. Okay. And you want some here. And here. And then on this side, you just need a piece in the middle here, like that. Okay, so we're ready now to assemble our nice faceted box. And so to do that, what you're going to do is remove backing from these corners here 
and bring your box up like that, okay? So you're going to do that on each of those little corner pieces. Okay, so those are all up like that, so now you can see the bottom of it is beginning to form really nicely. I'm just going to cut, because I can see I'm going to have a little bit of overlapping here. I want that to sit like that along there. Okay, so we've got boxes looking like that, so you've got this tall section this side, you've got this skinny section this side. On the skinny side, okay just going to remove a wedge from the bottom here of this piece like that and on the other side as well okay. okay so that's on the side with the cutter the side with the cutouts here okay and so now what you're ready to do is bring this over that side we've just wedged is just going to come across there like that. Okay, and the same with the other side. So just holding it up and sticking it. Okay, like that. Just tuck that out of the way. So now what you're ready to do is stick this piece. So we're taking these pieces off. And you bring this straight across and you want it nice and flush with this little angle here. Okay, so that's coming across there like that. And the same with the other side. So just taking that and just keep it nice and flush and stick it. Okay, so there you go, you can see you've got that lovely shape now formed. Okay, and we're ready to stick everything inside. So, press that in there. Let's take this, stick it down. Stick that down. And then this is just coming in here and sticking like that. You can wedge here if you want. Okay, I haven't done so. Entirely up to you. Okay, let's just bring that over, pushing it in and pushing it down. And there you see, you've got this really lovely faceted little box. So I think this would be great, you know, if, you, if you're a soap maker, if you make little bath bombs, things like that, I think these boxes would look lovely with something like that in there, all filled up with sweeties. So I'm just going to decorate the front of mine now, quite simply, um, and I've just chosen to use Blushing Bride, because I have found, I've checked, I've I've actually had a little practice with all of my inks with this particular piece of um, designer series paper and for me, although it's not, the pack doesn't say that Blushing Bride is part of the colour um, combinations they've used in here, I've just found that the Blushing Bride ink goes really really quite well, it's a really good match with this. So I'm using that, I've gone ahead and I've cut myself out an oval using my stitched shape dies, okay, so I've that's that, that's going to just sit there like that um, using Sure Do Love You so nice little stamp set this, I bought it and I've made lots of um, Valentine projects with it and things like that but I've just chosen to use that little sentiment there which says just for you so I'm just going to load up my stamp I'm just going to stamp 
the right way up <laughs> like that and I'm just going to take this now and run this through my big shot okay. so that's just going to sit on there like that rather nicely set that down on there and then I'm just going to pop this onto the front of my box and I'll use some dimensionals for that but these work just as well okay so I just want to pop that now into the center at the front like that and that's it that is my super sweet little faceted bottomed box which reminds me really of like a little vase or something like that um, and like I said you can pack this full of lots of different things sweets cosmetics whatever so anyway I do hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and that you were able to follow it I tried to keep it as um, concise as I could is it like I say it's quite a complex little box certainly I think it's sort of aimed at the more intermediate paper crafter possibly so I think if you're really new to this you know you're going to probably have to pause that old tape a few times and rewind and whatever but anyway um, I do hope you've enjoyed it I thought it was quite a nice concept for a little box I've had it in mind for a long long time now I did showcase it about a year or more ago I've just never got round to actually sharing it so anyway that's it from me today if you haven't already done so I'd love it if you hopped over and subscribed to my blog at www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk I'll be putting this project onto my blog together with a link for everything that I've used to make it and a link to my 24 hour online store. Okay, so I will be back again with another tutorial for you very shortly. So bye for now. <laughs>